इनका फीम बन जाएगा ऐसे मत लॉन्गेस्ट टू वीक्स ऑफ माई लाइफ लाइक खत्म नहीं हुआ सो with you introducing yourself into the attack oh god <laughs> you brought yourself on to bowl and i believe that was the first time in a millennium year since you bowled in competitive <laughs> top flight cricket didn't you yeah last time was big bash wb wbbl and i did my acl so of course after that i had uh, never bowled because i definitely have a weird action <laughs> Wouldn't say it's the most attractive action. <laughs> and if you are like, if your day is going bad, I think just watch my bowling. I think it'll make you laugh. <laughs> But I think uh, uh, it was actually a joke, which was uh, in def- definitely till that point we knew that we are out of the competition and uh, mm-hmm. we didn't have a chance. uh we went into the match of course we wanted to win as like but uh, Mum- i think mumbai indians mi got to a good start and i think we kind of knew that they would end up chasing it in 17th or the 18th over and i think in the strategic time out the coach came out and just said that whoever will uh, get hit for the boundary uh, is the party was on, on them the the farewell party of the uh, for the for the whole team and the ho- all the girls were like okay smriti you're bowling as <laughs> well because they wanted me to actually uh do it uh, so so actually they pretty much like talked me into it and said that let's see let's see mm-hmm. and of course it was a good crowd in so they were they were like it will be a th- good thing for them to also cheer about so 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 i think that was pretty uh at that time it just happened and i just said okay why not like it's it's fine jo bhi hona tha wbl mein ho chuka hai mere sath jo expect nahi kara tha ye bhi kar lete so so yeah i think it was pretty funny for me to actually bowl i was actually worried that i don't overstep or do something <laughs> because i had not even bowled in nets for i don't know how much how much like i think 2 3 years i think in one day world cup in new zealand i bowled a bit in nets uh, maybe once or twice this time pass i don't think that was recorded on camera here which is just a uh, like four five girls who were practicing so <laughs> i think post that it is the first time in you know match with people and like whatever 20000 people watching i uh, yeah i think i was very nervous not nervous actually i had nothing to lose so <laughs> i was just like chalo mat ha matlab but yeah it was a good <laughs> i wouldn't bowl again <laughs> but but yeah i think it was fun So a funny incident would you agree also connected to very critical moments or critical points in your career because we are talking the ACL injury back on 16th of January 2017 Wow you've done your research <laughs> Well that is my job That was a seismic change in your life 80% of um trainers and physiotherapists mm. went on record to say ruled you out of the world cup mm. but we also know that that the world cup was a breakout campaign for yourself for the indian women's cricket team and now when you look back on the wpl and all the learnings you said you've had in life uh, as the vice captain of the indian team as a future captain as well at some point in time would you believe that that the acl injury the subsequent surgery you had on your knee the rehab and this wpl campaign experience with all the setbacks and successes in this campaign right so would you think that probably you will look back on these two phases of your career with a lot of uh, gratitude acl for sure definitely uh, i think uh, because it made me a lot more uh, disciplined person uh, those five months i think i have been the most disciplined person ever i don't think i have been able to do that again also so similar kind of uh, work ethic i had for those 5 months uh, but in terms of um, cricketing aspect i think i would compare this to the last 7 matches which i had in the one, one day world cup in 2017 uh, and i remember exactly um, i think post the one day world cup exactly being in the similar place where am i good enough like that question comes to your like mind when something ha- like this happens and i think 
this, that that was also i think two or three weeks phase similar kind of you know women's cricket was in like people watching a lot of women's cricket and all of a sudden from me scoring century to not able to actually do anything for my team uh similar kind of two weeks i had for the wpl uh, which i was not able to contribute for my team and that actually so yeah i think in terms of that i was i think even comparing when i was in wpl that i think i was thinking or i was in a similar emotional headspace when i was in those last seven matches uh, and i think post that as well for a day or two i was like am i good enough that question comes um, the, so i think i would compare this to that phase that as well made me like it changed me a lot as a batter acl definitely helped me change as an athlete you know become much more stronger in physical strength and all that but as a batter i think uh, last seven matches changed me massively it hit me like really hard that like what is happening to me so i think same thing i would compare that to wpl rather than the acl phase because acl phase is still as i said it's uh, it taught me different stuff and as a batter and as a as a team player i think wpl was for me equivalent to the last seven matches which i had i know for certain that you did watch the final hmm Is there one captain that you were particularly rooting for? Because on the one hand, you have Harmanpreet Kaur, very dear friend of yours, your senior, your teammate, the captain you debuted under, your former PlayStation partner, and what not. And on the other hand, you have one of the most successful captains to have played the game, and somebody you look up to. I'm given to understand, Meg Lanny. <laughs> of course, I had a lot of uh, friends as well in the league capitals, uh, a lot of close friends. Uh, Does that also include somebody who goes by the name of Julia Rodriguez? No, no, not her. <laughs> but, uh, but secretly, in my head, I don't know why. But I like see. I didn't. I wanted just a good cricket match for sure because it was full packed house, first ever WPL as a women cricket. Like because we fought for a WPL, not fought actually. We were just like wanting to have a WPL for so long, and for us to actually see a. packed full house dy patel for the finals i just wanted to it, for it to be a good match that was the first thing and definitely i think i wanted an indian cap indian captain to win so uh, that was one thing which sorry, <laughs> sorry my client <laughs> well no the thing against uh, meg of course i have a lot of respect but just because it was the first ever edition of indian women's premier league and uh harman was there and uh, of course is a lot of soft corner for juludi as well uh, in mumbai indians uh, of course she's the mentor and the bowling coach there so i had a little soft corner for her because uh, we wanted to definitely you know do a lot more for her when we were in the one day world cup so so yeah i think uh, that also seeing her uh, you know just jump in joy when i saw the finals was like i was really happy and then secretly i think i was first ever edition now i like now it's fine it was just first ever edition i really wanted an indian captain to win so if not me it has to be harman <laughs> lovely way to connect several different eras of indian women's cricket smriti and i know and everybody knows that you really look up to julon and everybody in the team does have been because we all know what happened in that farewell match uh, but julon missed out as a player so did mithali raj so did many other stalwarts If you turn back time and look back on the day of the auction, you all were in South Africa, and I was there. You know, we were as journalists, we were waiting, we were juggling our World Cup duties, assignments, and the impending WPL auction. Can you give us an inkling of what it really was like from a very emotional perspective for the likes of you and Harman Pete? Because <laughs> the two of you are the face of Indian women's cricket, and on you rests the whole Indian shoulder. team is. Uh, the face of women's cricket uh, i wouldn't like like to put it out at uh, out in that way because i think women's cricket is what it is is because the, what we have achieved as an indian women's team in the world cups uh, i wouldn't really you know put it in that way uh, definitely uh, we have i think almost played for 10 years together now me and haridi and she's played i think 5 15 years okay well, she's been 10 years so you can think of 10 years uh, okay basically. yeah so yeah we we've definitely played with each other for a very long time and uh, yeah i think uh, we uh, we sat down and watched pretty much the whole auction like 
me and uh, Harry Lee, I think uh, we just went maybe in mid mid midway just to have lunch and come back. But I think we pretty much saw the whole uh, auction, and uh, there was a point where uh, we both actually went like uh, at that time, def- no price tags, nothing mattered. We never spoke about it, I think, and we just had that sort of a conversation like, "Wow, this is happening!" Like you know, we really wanted to do this, I think. Every interview in last three four years, whichever we both gave or all the women cricketers gave, I think we pretty much spoke about IPL or WPL. We we didn't know what name is gonna come. So so I think the, when the auction was happening, I think me and Harry they both were like, wow, it's happening. That that's the only. Even I think when the trophy unveiling happened, I think we me and her had a little bit like yes, like you know that's all like yes, <laughs> like we didn't like uh tell like you know had that sort of a thing like over bowling but i think we both like yes, like you know like secretly we just like yes. <laughs> so yeah it was like um who's played before as well i think uh, huge uh, huge like i would say huge the roles they had for us to come to this place and definitely this generation is lucky enough to witness this not like lucky also they have also worked pretty hard uh, i wouldn't take away anything from you know this generation as well but but yeah i think we've played before as well all of these had those had like huge roles we've like when i came into the indian setup i heard so much stories about how they used to actually play how they used to bowl so huge thanks to them as well one player who you were rooting for because she's an india captain she's your captain went on to lift that trophy at uh, the cricket club of india and You have seen her not lift a number of times. <laughs> yeah. Has it been like watching Harman Preet as captain and yourself? I think in the post match she did say that now I know how what it um, feels like winning. I think that I was like, wow, yes, yeah, Sarathi. <laughs> like you know, I, I felt really happy for her. Uh, definitely watching it. Like I do, I did. Like, I was extremely happy for the whole team and her and Juludi. Like I was like, wow, like this is nice. So, and all the instances that you've seen her and yourself and your team, the Jimmys, the Shikhas, um, the Arundhati's, the uh, Rajeshwari, all of you coming so close. The most recent one, of course, was uh, at Cape Town. Um, <laughs> that run out did. Do you have memories of that run out? I think so this? much people, so much of people have spoken about the run out. I think let's just like okay, the run out happened for sure. Uh, you know, it wouldn't have happened. We would have went on to win the match. But definitely, even after when the run out happened, we were still in a very good place to win the match. Sure. So, like sometimes these sort of things, like we do not discuss. Like sometimes it's like. she got out or that person got out this person it, it just comes down to one person but if you take it as a whole team i think we all will take that loss on the whole team because for jemi and harry di to put us in a place of winning from 15 for 2 is what <laughs> like they had done their job so basically i wouldn't really say that you know definitely that run out would have not happened would have end up winning what happened how what, how it happened that i think so much of things discuss discussions already happened but for me i think we still were in a in a very good place to win after that as well um, we just needed i think 7.58 per over with seven wickets in hand i think uh, that's where if i am like you know sitting out there i will like okay this is where our team needs to work on rather than thinking about okay that run out happened so for me i think that is how i would look at that match so 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 yeah i i, I wouldn't really talk about it run out or because a lot of times it's happened that we are in a run chase and one wicket falls that blame goes on that particular wicket mm-hmm. i've been also like sometimes i get out on 70s and 80s and we end up losing the match or something it comes on like you know that one particular person that you know that wicket. but it's not like you know it's just because of that one particular wicket or it's about some other wicket it's about the whole team and i think that's how the whole team believes in we never discussed That would run out. Whoa, ye hua, wo hua. We always discuss that. No, we are still in a good place to win. So, so yeah, <laughs> we'll as an Indian team, I think we'll work on that more than dwelling about any one wicket which fell. Like if you if you take back, Jamie played a ball which would have gone to boundary any day. So yeah, I think it's yeah, it's it's more to do than just one one wicket. And that's how I think Indian. I feel like. people who watch 
क्रिकेट इन इंडिया दे ऑलवेज हैव दिस थिंग दैट दैट वन पर्टिक्युलर बिग विकेट फेल एंड दिस हैपेंड है बट द फैक्ट दैट वन दैट वन पर्टिक्युलर बिग विकेट मेड दैट रन चेज पॉसिबल दैट ऑल्सो वी हैव टू अप्रिशिएट सो सो या फॉर मी टू वॉच जेमीज एंड जेमी एंड हर हैरी दिस पार्टनरशिप वॉज सो गुड आई थिंक आउटसाइड आई वॉज लाइक वाओ द काइंड ऑफ डॉमिनेशन दे हैड इन दैट मिडल फेज ऑफ दैट सेमीफाइनल वॉज समथिंग विच आई हैवन सीन लाइक नो दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ डॉमिनेशन लाइक द वे दे मेड नाइन पर ओवर लुक लाइक इजी लाइक कौन है ये लोग लाइक दैट सो आई 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 विल टेक दैट एंड ऑफकोर्स वेर वी नो वी वी कूडन डू इट सो सो या That's my take on it. It can people can bash it, but what? It's my take on it. <laughs> Do you worry a lot about the bashing on social media and stuff? हाँ भाई इसके इसे खराब क्या हो सकता है इससे ज़्यादा bashing मिल सकती है मुझे तो मिलती रहती है. आप देखते हो? Do you check your social media comments? कौन बोल रहा है क्या? Yeah, I don't think इतना. No, I don't think I go and check कि क्या बुरा बोला क्या अच्छा बोला क्या हुआ or something. It's just और अगर इट कम्स अक्रॉस मी ऑल्सो आई जस्ट लाइक लाफ इट लाफ इट आउट इवन इफ इट्स लाइक को इंसिडेंटली यू आर ऑन इट एंड यू काइंड ऑफ आई डोंट गो सर्चिंग फॉर इट अगर कुछ दिख गया गलती से तो या आई जस्ट लाइक बी लाइक हाँ सही बोल रहा है मतलब कुछ बैश भी कर रहा होगा तो हाँ सही बोल रहा है मतलब खराब भी करा है मतलब इट्स नॉट लाइक इट्स नॉट लाइक आई वुड लाइक रियली वरी अबाउट इट अलॉट जेमी कीप स्टेकिंग माई केस दैट Like you are something, yeah, like a little stupid person. Like how how do you like? How do you like? Why are you like even like? Reading like not reading. Like I like even if it comes across you, I just laugh it out and I make a joke out of it. Like I tell two three people like <laughs> them you know, them mocking me. Like you know and yeah, it's just, it's just if I can take someone talking amazing things about me, I think it's fine. I think. But would you also agree that at times, so toxicity, which happens, right, na, on social media, that kind of breaches all limits. Because I'm not sure if you've seen this, but recently, Shikha had posted something uh, around the IPL. It was a very generic statement mm-hmm. uh, about having once behaving a certain way. किसी को point to point करके कुछ नहीं बोला था उन्होंने. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've been off social media for a while, so I haven't really checked. So basically, a, a group of fans. Uh, Well, I think in recent past, जो ये हो रहा है well, like you know, this particular portion of this one player's fans are mocking other players' fans. That is something which worries me because we are one Indian team. WPL or even a men's IPL is for a one and a half two months. WPL is for twenty days. So why like to actually like like say my portion of fans mocking my friends? <laughs> they are my friends. They feel that we are against each other or something just for that twenty days. But they are all my friends. All the Indian teammates are my friends. So that maybe is a little troublesome. You can criticize us for our cricketing skills. You can criticize us or appreciate us for what what we have done on the field. But you can't like really question something other than just because you are you know fans of some different person. Like that's what is happening. I feel now what you spoke yeah. like this. Largely, yeah. Yes. So that I think should maybe I'm not a huge fan of that. You can appreciate or like a constructive criticism or a good appreciation. I think that is good. I think that's healthy. But उधर तक नहीं पहुँचनी चाहिए बात. Speaking of constructive criticism and criticism of any kind, a criticism जो Indian women's cricket team पर level किया जाता है is the fact that the constant inability to cross that <laughs> final hurdle. Where do you think India are missing out? What is potentially the concern? Because effort, me to, no athlete, no team, no one keeps coming. Not that we want to go out and not perform, or that not that we want to really not do. So yeah, in last four five years, definitely we have come a long way from just being a participating team to like actually, you know, dominating the league phases to. Uh, you know, trying one to one or two semis as well, and then lost out on finals and maybe semis or maybe finals somewhere. We uh, don't play to our potential. I would say, like if we play to our potential, I think we can definitely lift it. Uh, but yeah, I think even I think I have got that criticism that uh, maybe I have not able to play perform in knockout matches, which is maybe true also. I haven't like. Uh, except one or two i wouldn't have so i will take it very positively i think that's very constructive criticism i think uh, and the whole indian women's team will take it i think we we all have to take it i think if people are appreciating for us to reach semis and finals they are going to criticize us for us not being able to because that's what they expect out of us to lift the trophy for the for, for india so yeah i think we all have to take it in a positive way 
take it that okay let's like well i i actually believe that you know the time will come there there is it is <laughs> yeah i'm i know that it's been very heartbreaking for you guys just imagine for us being part of the team so not that we we go out thinking that we are going to not win like you know it's common well time we've been very close so definitely we have been trying and working hard a lot in terms of how do we handle the pressure of semis or finals but but i believe that wpl or some something of wpl is also going to play a huge role in terms of um, for all the girls also to be able to handle that sort of a uh, pressure in terms of the whole world is watching that pressure so so yeah i am really hopeful that wpl will be really important not only this year but like you know how it grows in us understanding that um, this is like you know um, just be fine about it so so i think yeah, i think it will it will happen i'm really positive about it uh, that you know it will happen but, but yeah i think we'll try and uh, back ourselves to go and win the world cup because Yeah, like for us also it's a lot of hard breaks like i don't think we are abhi aur nahi le sakte hum bhi nahi le sakte aap log chodo hum bhi nahi le sakte it's just like after i think every series of final me and harry we both are sitting and watching each other like are yeah. <laughs> like you know again so close so so yeah i think we are also like really i think as much as you guys are wanting it it's just 200% more that we are wanting it and um, but yeah i do believe that you know i have that i think i'll take it Uh, it's i'm very positive about it mm. on the note of positivity i cannot end this conversation without asking about whatever happened at lords oh, go oh god fair <laughs> match okay you're talking about the fair match <laughs> okay <laughs> not the 23rd of july final but to the fair match um deepthi sharma running out बैकग्राउंड so that's the background of it i wouldn't exactly say this happened that happened and all because again i don't want that conversation or debate to again start which is a never ending one i had that point of time where people were like questioning each other countries were questioning each other i don't want to get to that again uh, but but yeah i think we all kind of didn't know and we just were like okay <laughs> we just were like what happened so so yeah cool lots to unpack from this conversation Thank you very much for your time. A lot of time that you've given me, Smriti, and uh, I wish you well and your team as well. And anything that you would want to add as parting notes to your millions of fans? Nothing. I think end of the end of every interview, we do say. Please like, subscribe <laughs> <laughs> to Anisha's channel, and uh, I always believe that you do a good interview. So hopefully, you keep doing that. Thank you very much.